If you are currently in the US and planning to invest in India in order to benefit from India's growth story, in this video, I will tell you three ways in which you can invest in Indian stock market from the United States. My name is Kanak and welcome back to my channel. Subscribe to my channel for interesting content from the world of finance, investing and economics. So let us start with the first way you can purchase India focused ETFs from your US brokerage accounts such as Robinhood, E-Trade and so on. These ETFs offer a diversified way to gain exposure to the Indian market. Nifty 50 is the most popular Indian index and represents the top 50 companies in India. The benefit of buying ETF in your US brokerage account is that they trade like stocks throughout the day and they offer you a diversified exposure to the Indian market. You can also buy ADRs or American Depository Receipts of specific stocks from India. ADRs are certificates issued by financial institutions that represent certain amount of foreign stocks. Similar to ETFs, you can buy ADRs through your US brokerage accounts and they trade like stocks throughout the day. However, the problem with US brokerage account is that it offers very limited numbers of ETFs and ADRs to the investor. So that brings us to our second option. You can open an international brokerage account in the US that will allow you to buy Indian stocks in your US brokerage account. The benefit of opening international brokerage account is that your choices of stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, bonds and so on will significantly increase. There are two popular companies that provide the international brokerage account services. The first is interactive brokerage and the second is Fidelity International Trading Platform. If you already have Fidelity's domestic account, you can enable international trading onto the same account. This will help you keep both your domestic as well as international stocks within the same account. There are two downsides that you need to study before opening an international brokerage account. One is the commission fee. The second downside is foreign currency exchange risk, which means the stocks are traded in Indian rupees, whereas when you hold the stocks in international brokerage accounts, they are held in US dollars. So, if the rupee depreciates against dollar, even though you would have made gains in rupee terms, all of that gain would get erased when that rupee is converted into US dollars. So that brings us to our third option. The third option is applicable for NRIs, which means you are an Indian national who has stayed outside of India for more than six months. In order to buy stocks directly in the Indian stock market, NRIs will have to open a PIS account or Portfolio Investment Scheme Accounts. There are two types of Portfolio Investment Scheme Accounts. The first is NRE account or Non-Resident External Account, which is a repatriable account, which means you can transfer the money from your Indian account into the account of your resident country that is United States without any limit. The second type of PIS account is called NRO or Non-Resident Ordinary Account. NRO is a non-repatriable account which means the money in your Indian account cannot be transferred into the bank account in your resident country that is United States beyond $1 million. The PIS account is approved by the Reserve Bank of India and all the transactions in NRI accounts are reported to the Reserve Bank of India for compliance purposes. Once you have the PIS account, you can open your DMAT or brokerage account. In terms of buying and selling shares on the brokerage account, the process would be exactly same as any other local investor in India. While this may sound like a very long process, a lot of banks and brokerage companies such as HDFC, ICICI Bank, Zeroda and so on offer a 3-in-1 account service, which means you can open all the three accounts that is PIS account, brokerage account and DMAT account through a single window. As an NRI investor, there are three things that you need to remember. The first is the taxes on NRI investments is exactly same as any local investor, which is 10% on long-term capital gains and 15% on short-term capital gains. Secondly, NRIs cannot do intraday trading. Third, NRI accounts can trade in stocks and futures and options. However, the NRI accounts are barred from trading on currency derivatives and in commodities. I hope this video helped you get one step closer to your plans of investing in Indian stock market from the US. 